Hello, everybody, and welcome to another tier list. If you missed it, we did already rank all of the guns in Enter the Gungeon. Now we are moving on to all of the items, actives and passives. If you missed the last video and you don't know who the heck I am and why I would be rating all this stuff, I am a Gungeon YouTube boy. I play Roguelikes and more on YouTube every single day, and I have over 1,200 hours in Gungeon, and people have been requesting this a hell of a lot. Uh, my opinions, for whatever reason. It's, uh, you know, it's subjective. Uh, some things are down to personal preference. Some things are down to where you are in your, uh, your journey with the game. How many hours you have in it. Like, HP upgrades to a new player are going to be more valuable than HP upgrades to a, a, a player who's played as long as I have, for example. I'll try to keep that in mind. And like I said in the gun video, I am going to be talking about synergies, but the final list is not going to reflect their synergies so like if there's a situation where a synergy would drastically change the item i'll probably move it around accordingly but got banger supreme this is like you get it your run is basically one banger it's very good you're psyched to get it good it's you're happy to get it okay it's just like you're not bummed it helps the run not good you're like well i kind of wish i got something else and duke you're just kind of like oh my god are you kidding me you gave me this but uh, if you want to make this list for yourself the template was thrown together by turtle melon i'll link him in the description again he did the same uh he did the uh tier list for the guns as well so you can check that out linked in the description but we are going to try to speed this up the guns took two hours and uh, nine minutes or whatever we're going to try to try to make this take a lot less but here we go we got gun boots <laughs> it's a tough one right off the bat because they're they're not great but i don't know if they're like i i, I feel like they're a, a quintessential not good um they are helpful they don't do tons of damage they'll just do some stuff they're not i might move them to the top of duke later but we're just gonna have to uh we're just gonna have to see but Gundromeda Strain, it decreases the HP of all enemies by 25%. It is one of, this is one of the few items that I'm universally, on every single run, always stoked to get. Unbelievably pumped to get it. It's, uh, it can help runs that are already OP, make them even more OP. It's a win more item, but it's also helpful in all situations. It effectively is turning on easy mode to the game, as if they just reduce the HP of every enemy by 25%. It's good. Uh, Gungeon Blueprint reveals the layout of every floor. Pretty much the, um, the thing about this that is good is you can plan out your floor layout a little bit better. Uh, as in, like, you can pick your path better. You can go to places that maybe, uh, you know, maybe you'll see a, a, a secondary shop that you maybe, you would have went to the main shop, spent your money, and you'd be disappointed when you get to the secondary shop and it had better stuff. That kind of thing. It does also find you, uh, all the secret rooms as well, which is something... However, it is an S-tier item, and there is Magnificence that is in play. I didn't talk about it a ton in uh, the gun tier list, but effectively, you know, if you get these quote-unquote good items, because this is S-rank, but it's not like... It doesn't... It, it just doesn't blow the game wide open. It's, it's either high good, low banger. I'm going to put it banger and see what happens from here. Uh, you know what? Gungeon Pepper. You can cheese with it. I feel like it probably helps you a little bit more than the gun boots because there are situations where you can use it on purpose and like put up a wall and try to kill enemies from the other side of it. Neither of them are good. Neither of them are good. Gun boots might be better. I I, I think it might be better. Uh, but alas, we got all the gun knights. I mean, three of these are going to go in the exact same spot and one of them is going to go... Uh, go above it. it these another thing to keep in mind is it does dep you know depend on when you get it in the run uh obviously all four of them together you get the the gun knight so when you get one you're kind of kind of more you're getting two you know sort of because when you get one it's more likely that the other ones show up uh gun knight's obviously you know a whole nother story but we just you get armor on the start of every single floor and you get armor on pickup with the helmet you get two armor on pickup so, obviously, the helmet's the best of them other than that. So, I mean, let's see. Gun Knight, what, what are the tiers of them? Because I guess we have to keep that in mind. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah. C and C. C, C. And this is B. So, I mean, I, honestly, it's got to be the worst one of the of the bunch. Because, like, these they're lower tier and they do the exact same thing, meaning that you can get them for cheaper. I would consider that to be, you know, if all else is equal, they uh, that, that buffs them up. What are they, like, a, I feel like they might. I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to say this. No, no, that's too extreme. That's too extreme. But obviously they all go right in there. Uh, let's see. The hazmat suit, immunity to fire, poison, and electricity. It's a B tier. Fire, poison, and electricity. It's just fire and poison. When is electricity ever really that relevant? Not very much. Of the status effect immunity things, you know, at least it does fire and poison. It might be on the bottom of okay. Uh, now, here's an interesting thing. For the heart container, we kind of have to... Uh, oh, man. We kind of have to, to decide where all health ups are valued right now. I would say that they are okay. Like, it's hard to say. If you're a new player, you know, it might be in the banger tier. Uh, veteran player. Like, to me, it's like... I put it about right here. I, I rate it about here. But, uh, truth be told, it's probably in the upper okay territory. Upper okay territory for me. Uh, you can... I, I don't know if all of the HPs are up on here. I mean, it's really, really redundant. It sort of looks like they are not, which is good. You, you can just put every single thing that just gives you only one HP up. Every single heart item, uh, the master rounds, all of that. Yeah, okay, there are. There they are. They all go there. You know, they're just... It's redundant. They're all exactly the same. Uh, you know, they're fine. HP. It, it's. I'm not going to be disappointed to get it ever. I uh, definitely wouldn't put it... I wouldn't say it's not good. It's helpful. It helps the run. Uh, it, they might even be on the bottom of the good tier. You know what? Let's say short. They're on, they're on the very, very bottom of the good tier. They're like the last thing that I would get that I'd be like, okay. Uh, antibody. Antibody is... I think it might... It's it's On some runs, it's god tier. It gives you an extra half heart. Uh, a chance to get an extra half heart whenever you heal. There's situations where you could actually, like, blow the run open with it. I, I think it's... It's kinda good. It doesn't... It's not god tier. It's kinda good. Uh, oh, look at that. How did you sneak out into a different spot there? Uh, okay, Heart of Ice. I mean, it, it is an HP up. It's like, it has, it has to be here because it is, it gives you an extra heart container and it increases your coolness by one. So I feel like it's probably, you know, so here and it does the bouncing effect whenever you get hit. It's not, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, getting it out of an A tier chest, out of a red chest makes me really frown. But you, the thing is, you can get this out of a blue or green chest as well. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of the weird items that's across three tiers. All of the HP ups, these, one, two, three, four, five, and that, you can get across all of the, uh, yeah, CB and A tier. So, it's interesting there. Uh, heart synthesizer, chance to get a heart upon completing the room. This is one of those items where I've got it in the back of my head. Like, I don't know truly how good it is because it's one of those ones that kind of just plugs away in the background. I feel like it can't be better than the Gun Knight stuff, because I, well, okay. As a new player, I'm sure this is up there. But, like, it, I just don't really know truly how often it procs, you know? I would, first of all, let's do this. I rate the armor one higher than the HP one, because, like, that's just... I like armor better than HP. It's you know if you're getting it ra if you're getting it randomly, it's better to get armor uh, because you might be at full HP. If you're at full HP and you get the random proc for the HP, you don't get anything. If you get the armor armor proc, you get armor. Uh, I, I, it's it's a it's a, it's a pretty good one, I guess. I, I like armor synthesizer more. Uh, ammo synthesizer. Should I just rate all the synthesizers at the same time? Ammo synthesizer. Uh, 
I feel like it's probably about right there. Uh, ammo economy is not as tough as it used to be. However, if you have something that boosts... Uh, the reason it, it's not as tough as it used to be is there's more ammo-related items. Uh, there's ammo spread drops. There's just, you know, it's it's a pretty good item. You have a chance to gain ammo. I, I think I've rated it too high, though. You get a chance to gain ammo back when you kill an enemy. This That's how this and this you get upon completing a room. This you get upon killing an enemy. It's one of those ones where it's weird and it's in the background, so it's hard to really notice. But I think it is quite good. Heavy boots. Do they give you armor? Any? Do they still give you... Do they change it? Do they give you armor? I don't remember. I don't think so. Uh, they're, they're weird. They're gimmicky. Um... You get this with, uh, you get this with, he like, heavy, uh, what is it, not heavy engine, <laughs> alien engine, it's obviously god tier, but in all other scenarios, it's just, like, it's just fine. Heavy bullets are weird. They are one of the few items that, I, I, I think, seem great, but aren't as great as they think they really uh, broadcast themselves to be the 25 percent damage up however it also does double your knockback which uh i feel like uh, here where's where's fat bullets Th these are really good comparisons right here they both give you 25 percent damage up they both double your knockback however heavy bullets also decreases the bullet speed by 50 percent and this decreases your max ammo by 10 percent I find that this is a, like, the knockback sucks. I don't act, like, in almost all scenarios, it causes more problems than it helps. Uh, not on bosses, really. It doesn't screw things up very much. But uh, the fact that this slows down your bullets and does the double knockback makes it so there's so many situations where multi-firing multi weapons, uh, automatic weapons, fire a bunch of shots and a lot of them will miss because your slow moving shot cannot keep up with how far the enemy is being pushed away. So because of that, like I am, it's it's a damage up, but it's not that great. Uh, like I would say it's it's about here. Fat bullets, like I like damage ups. It's it's weird. It can this can ruin some runs. So it's it's weird because of that like if you have the right set of weapons it's great just the fact it's truly just the fact that it slows down your bullets and it has the knockback at the same time if it only had one of those i wouldn't really care about it like it being you know it wouldn't really be that bad uh, let's see what do we got what else helix bullets uh doubles of doubles whoop, doubles your bullets makes them go in the weird pattern and it also uh slightly decreases the damage i say that helix bullets are like really a banger <laughs> because they actually act as a uh, almost as an accuracy up in a way too kind of sort of i think they're great i, I really think they're great i mean let's see let's check the wiki each bullet does 66 percent of the original damage so it can uh, if you hit with both bullets which isn't too hard to do it's uh it's a pretty pretty big increase. It's a 33% damage increase, aka more than fat bullets, and it kind of gives you an accuracy up and it doesn't have the uh the penalty of the 10% ammo reduction and it also doesn't have knockback, which I think usually usually matters. Uh hip holster. Some runs is a banger supreme, some runs is duke. It just depends on it how many one-shot bop guns you have. Uh, like, there's some runs where it is hilarious. Like, it's seriously hilarious how busted this item is on some runs. And then there's some runs where you basically... Like, I would say it's probably okay. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to, like, cut the... Cut the loss here and say... I actually... I think I probably rate it higher than most people, to be honest. I, I really bet I do. But I think that there's some runs... Some runs where it's busted, and I feel like those runs are very common. I feel like it's really common that you get a one-shot bop gun, and it it can it effectively like doubles the strength of it of your run there. I think it does shoot out a weakened version. I could be wrong. Let me see. Eh, it doesn't even say. It fires one bullet for free. 
So yeah, I just I think it's a pretty darn good. Armor of Thorns. I mean, it gives you armor. <laughs> it gives you armor. It's at least here. It gives you one armor. Uh, contact damage immunity, which I'd say probably brings it here. And you do the big damage by rolling into enemies. Honestly, it's like... Uh, I'd say it's better than a normal pickup. It's better than an armor pickup. Holy Grail is stupid good. Like, stupid good. Is it better than... Because it's like, yes, ammo economy is not really that big of a thing. We talked about that with the gun video a lot. But, like, this makes it so you can abuse your strongest weapon for the entirety of the run, almost. It's so broken. Yes, you do need to kill the advanced dragon to get it. Um, hmm. Huh. It's tough. I think, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Homing bullets, or, or uh, are they homing bullets, or are they smart bullets? Homing bullets. They they have a 20% chance to home in on enemies. That's what, 20%. It's just crutch, but we're, like, we need to get, where's crutch? We need to do these at the same time. Crutch. Crutch. Oh, God. Maybe I don't. Okay. We need to do these at the same time, because homing bullets is a B tier and it, uh, it is a 20% chance crutch is uh, a B tier, and it makes all the bullets slightly curve towards it. Crutch is just better. Crutch is just better. I would go as far as to say crutch is upper good. It doesn't make them like, home in like crazy. Uh, I would say homing bullets truly are probably below heavy bullets. Just like they're they're one that I like I got early on and I was like oh homing bullets that's fantastic, but then when you slowly realize how little it actually functions, how little it actually homes in, it's not very good. Uh, honeycomb, it's not good, but it's probably a little bit more useful than this I guess. I guess release bees on on hit, you know, I don't know. Not that, not that great. Hot lead, twenty percent chance to uh, to cause fire. It's good. It's a it's a good one. Um, I'd say it's probably above crutch. It can take a lot of guns that are not too impressive and make them way better. Uh, rapid fire rate weapons. It can have a lot of fun with that. Hungry bullets. They very good. They very good. I'm being really stingy with my banger tier here, but I think it's just because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 things that are just like, kind of just, you get more HP. Uh, Robot Bomb, Companion App, Ibon Companion App, it's not good. It's not good. There's, it's, the only time it's good is with Corsair. And it's just, it's hard to rate an item based off of that. Other than that, it just is not impressive. It's just not impressive in any way. First Duke tier. Uh, what else we got? I, I'm still not sure if I, this is where Hungry Bullets belongs. I think it actually is probably more like this. Uh, okay, so Ice Bomb. Let's see. Do we have... We obviously should rate, like, the Bomb and Ice Bomb about at the same time here. Uh, the Bomb... Okay, so first of all, the Ice Bomb I don't think actually opens up walls... Let me double check here. Uh, bu 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 bu. Can open up secret rooms. Ice bomb. Cannot. Uh, that's pretty much the big differential between them. Like, obviously, I mean, the bomb is just better. Like, I would go as far as to say the bomb is good. The bomb is good. And opening up secret rooms for free is just fun. Ice bomb is upper okay. Obviously, like, it's weird because the active items you have to be harsher with them because you only can have one so i don't know like I, ice bomb it ain't bad but it ain't great either you know like how does it take the same amount to charge up 200 points versus 200 points yep take the same to charge up so it's just like you got to compare them directly this can at least open up secret rooms and i actually prefer the burst damage anyways i think it's probably more like there it's actually like it's 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 really not bad it can supplement your damage pretty well. It can break bullets. 
Uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube gives you how much coolness? Got I got the wiki open here today for this one. Uh, three coolness. So let's uh, here let's find the ballot. The direct competitor here. The, the ballot also has gives you three coolness, but the Ice Cube does more. It also uh, reduces the cooldown timer of active items. There's some same same as Hip Holster. There's some runs where this is literally like right here. There's some runs where it's literally right here. I think, like, low-key, it's a, it's a secret banger, but it, it just, it is subjective based off the run. There's some runs where you could get it and it does basically nothing, but even then you get the three coolness, which increases your drops, increases uh, active item cooldown reduction. The thing is, if you get this early on, just go pick up the rad items. Uh, if you watch my series, I mean, first of all, hey, shout out, I did uh, the Beat the Gungeon series, which is... Uh, zero to 100 percent without dying we uh we played through the entire game did the whole save file just finish that up you should go take a look at that if you want any help or just want to see uh what that would look like and in the upcoming week we're gonna be doing mod the gungeon we're gonna be starting the mod the gungeon series so you should go take a peek at that uh but yeah in my series i do not pick up the rad items except for the boots because quite frankly they're too busted uh but if you get this early on and you get any of like if you get the uh partially eaten g's to one run this this can be hilarious it's but it's subjective like it depends on the run uh this is the same thing if it didn't have the op situation it's uh still three coolness it's about like right there three coolness can add up you know uh okay so the coin as an active item it's not there that good like i mean it's nice I would say as an active item, it's about right here. However, it does have a passive to it that I don't utilize very often because how often can you actually afford to waste your active item slot for a passive? If you don't know, this also gives you, uh, here, I'm gonna, I believe it's what? How much coolness? Two coolness and a 20% discount at shops while you're holding it. Uh, so because of that, it's gotta be more like, it's like right there, but it's, uh, hear me on every level. It is because of the passive. It is because of the passive. You can, the, the trick to, the quote unquote trick to this is use it twice or use it twice on a floor that you, uh, you know, want to, to clear out the rooms. Other than that, just save it and hold on to it to get to coolness and 20% shop discount. Uh, irradiated lead. It's hot lead. Which one's better? Do I have to pick one? Uh, irradiated lead. Do they both have twenty percent chance? Oh, chance of poisoning enemies is a fifty percent. Uh, three damage per sec for two point five seconds versus uh, doesn't even say. Uh, it looks like irradiated lead is probably probably a bit better than just because it's more frequent and as long as you're not on the um the oubliette. There's probably the same or less amount of enemies that can be poisoned. So I guess that's something. Uh, Jar of Bees. It's okay. It's okay. I'll use it. Uh, you, you know, it's just, it's damage. It's effectively the bomb if it couldn't open up secret rooms, but it could hit enemies that weren't in the ra Like, you don't have to aim it as well. It's, uh, it, it ain't bad, but it ain't good at all. Um, jetpack. It's so finicky. Like, it's so finicky. It, give, it gives you flight when you want it, but it takes up your active slot and movement speed up. It's like the best okay thing. Junkin'. I have some hot takes for junk, and we'll save that for later. Katana bullets, um, they, they, I, they're still pretty new. Upon killing enemy bullets, have a chance to unleash a flurry of slashes along the path of the original bullet. Yeah. It also gives you a curse. Um, it's not as good as the other bullet modifiers. And it actually, the wind box on the actual hits do kind of stink a bit. I'd say it's probably about right there, to be honest. 
Uh, it's yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Knife shield. I have a, I have some hot takes. Let me blow your mind about knife shield. Everybody's using it wrong. Do not throw your knives. They stack. Do not throw your knives. They stack. This item is actually really good. I am going to blow your mind. It is a banger. This is a banger item. It's it's criminally overlooked because since you can throw your knives, everybody thinks you do. No, what you do is you get this item from the very start of the floor, stack up your, your knives forever. Stack up your knives from the moment you enter the floor until the boss fight. You will have, if you do a good job of dodging a, 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 enough bullets, you can retain a huge knife shield for basically the full floor until the boss. It's stupid good. So stupid good. Lament. Ugh. What a what a weird one. It's it's RNG incarnate though. We gotta like on the best of runs, it's a light banger supreme. On the worst of runs, it's not good. So I'm going to put it about there. It's it's RNG dependent. It it can be the best thing in the run. It can be terrible. You do have to fight enemies. Uh, it can waste your ammo. It can deal damage to you. I'm like not selling myself on it as I'm use as as I'm going. Um, yeah, it's subjective. There's some runs you could get. You know, you could get a banger supreme out of it. It can generate a lot of items, so it's like it can be really good. God, I just the more I talk, the more confused I get. Laser sight, laser sight, uh, 50% spread reduction. That's good. That's good. I think I rate it higher. I think I rate accuracy ups higher than most people. Um, but it's not because of, it's not actually because of aiming. It's because of taking weapons like shotguns, taking items like crown of guns and turning them into absolute bangers i think that it i think that it's one of those soft things that's going on in the background that actually really 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 helps uh even when you're not thinking about it stupid stupid item that is so darn good it's just it's this by stupid i mean it's so stupid good like duh it's this is like 20 items in a box right here uh, it's RNG dependent, but even on the worst of days, the worst of days, it's a top banger. The best of days, it's the best item in the game that you could possibly get. Lich Eye Bullet, Synergy on every single gun. Uh, Lichy Trigger Finger. Rate of fire up by 25%. Sleeper banger. I, it's, it's really good. It's, it's really good. 25% rate of fire for a D tier weapon. You find this sucker in the shop for like... 50 casings get it like right away it's so good uh liquid valkyrie liquid valkyrie is the uh 20 speed reduction obviously we got to get uh where is bloody eye okay so this is 15 percent bullet speed reduction this is 20 percent speed reduction this comes from a red chest this comes from a green chest uh the tier I know it shouldn't really be a factor, but like it, they're almost on the exact same plane because of it. Um, I, it, it, they can be good if you're a newer player. I think they're great items. If you're a player who's practiced the game a lot over time, and you've gotten used to patterns, these items can actually be detrimental to you in some situations. But I think that there's still I think they're about right there and I think that I think that Liquid Valkyrie while it is a higher tier and thus maybe it's more expensive and maybe takes away a better item from you I guess the 5% probably ekes it out just like a little bit baby good minic I love this sucker I love this sucker is he a banger though I don't know probably not it's weird to rate familiars versus passives because they're, they're pretty they're just so different 
He actually can bullet block too, which is very much worth thinking about. Uh, he can obviously, he takes over the form of one of your other pets. There's some situations, there's some runs where you can turn him into like a, a banger, banger supreme by getting like two of a crazy good familiar, but situational RNG, RNG dependent. RNG dependent, dependent. What's this? Lodestone amulet, uh, extra blank every floor, and it also gives higher knockback and uh, I think like a uh, chance to st or stuns enemies for three seconds. I feel like okay, let's get this all done right now. Let's grab them all. Where where they all at? There's there's a ton of them. They're not. Uh, they're all gonna go generally in the same sort of area. Where the heck are they all? I'm am I blind? Oh my god, there's so many items in this g darn game. And then there's all the table techs. Is it missing? Oh, there's... Where's gold amulet? We might find it later. It's uranium amulet. Where's gold amulet? Gold amulet. Where are you? You could just do them in order and it just doesn't matter. It's here somewhere. Oh my god. So many of these suckers. There it is. Alright. Let's, uh... Where does... What's the most neutral one here? I mean, these are like... These two are effectively the same. Right? I think that they're kind of like the middle ground. Chaos Amulet being sort of near the top. I'd say this... Actually, you know what? This is probably the order here. This is probably the order. Uh, the fact that you get an extra blank every floor, or your uh, your base blank th goes up every floor, it's it's nice. It actually it's pretty darn good. Um, it, it's easy to forget because it's kind of like a passive thing, but you can you can cheese with it, kinda. You know, like you just get a whole bunch of them. I don't know. If you get a couple of these, baby, you got a stew going. But are they really that great? I think they're good. I think they're good. I think they're good. These go here. Uh, do we... This stun... This stuns. I feel like it makes it a little bit better. And uh, that's about, like, on, on par. Gold amulet is when it starts to get a little bit more spicy, I'd say. Situational, but good. Chaos Amulet. Something like that. Something like that. It's... I don't know. I don't feel great about it. Freeze. I don't know. I know. I probably... I've got him pretty darn high, though. Yeah. Some of these, like, depends on when you get it. Like like I was mentioning before. Uh, depending on where you are in the run. If you get this on the first floor, this is a very, very, very good easy-peasy item. Uh, it's kind of like uh, like a Nana Machines. Nana Machines is just more reliable. This, in fact, like, it's a... Nana Machines is really, like, really good. Just because it's so... It's so guaranteed. It's so guaranteed... Generates so many shields over the course of the run. Every three hits. Every three hits nets you a, uh, a shield. It's, it's busted. Or is it... Wait. Three hits? Two pieces of armor on pickup and every, every four hits. Yeah. I mean, that's like... That's really good. And it's two armor on pickup, too. It's just... Oh, my God. Loot bag. It's hard to... <sighs> It's hard to really not factor in the synergy of the three items because when you pick up this, you're likely to get the other ones. Enemies drop more money, but the player drops more money. Drops more money on taking damage. 
and selling items to the sale creep grants you twice as much money. I mean, it's like, it's good. Money can buy you a lot. I feel like it's dangerous. Here's my strat. Uh, when you have this, drop it before the boss fight. Like, go into the boss fight and drop it, like, the second you get in there. It's a safer way to really handle it. I think it's... I think it's good. But it's not, uh... Man, we're, we're really stingy with the bangers here. We might need to... I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. Oh, yeah. I'm, no, you know what? I'm totally doing this. I consider... that, And that's where I'd say I'd probably stop. Yeah. Yeah, I feel better with that. I feel much better seeing that. That looks a lot... A lot better. Uh, this is very okay i'd say mantra brace okay unless let's you know let's look up does it do anything else that i don't know about uh shots are more powerful when coming out of a dodge roll 30 percent extra damage after a dodge roll you would think it'd be good and it is in some scenarios but it's just like it causes so many problems for me i don't know like you, you don't want to be dodge rolling that much if you use it intentionally, it's bad. Like you can, you get a lot of issues. But truth be told, it is. It's probably no. It's better than this stuff. It's like it's okay. It is okay. But whenever I use it on purpose, I get a lot of problems. Like I start to take all kinds of damage. Uh, oh, magazine rack, infinite ammo. Whenever you're standing inside it, I don't know. It's okay. It's upper okay. You have the, the fact that you have to stand still is what sucks about it. It really is what sucks about it so much. Uh, magic bullets. It up there. It up there. I'd say a little bit better than hungry bullets. Chance to polymorph enemies. Very, very handy. Just a, just a nice little item. Uh, magic sweet. It's a banger supreme. Gives you HP up, coolness, and movement speed. Uh, magic sweet. Let's see. Uh, magic sweet gives you 15% damage up. Nice. Just a nice little damage up. HP, movement speed, and coolness. I mean, it's just a, it's a really nice selection of stats. It's just very, very good. Uh, honestly, it's... I'd, I rate it more than this because at least you can maybe find your secret room. It's still something. Is there anything else that's going to join you in this tier? You know what? Fine. We'll put it at the top of the Duke tier because I just don't love it. Just don't love it. Uh, play well, get keys. Uh, yeah. It's, you know, it's the same as, same as this stuff effectively, but it's for keys. There. About there. About there. Uh, meat bun on some runs on some runs i would put it about here if you get full metal jacket it it's uh it's it's like a yeah it's like here but truth be told it's, it gives you one hp and it doubles your damage till you get hit it's kind of it, i feel like i whenever i get it i if you're a new player if you're a new player i would say it's you know it's as good as i no it's it's like as good as this if you're a new player and if you are a veteran player it's like a, it's like it's like maybe like here so i'd say it's probably got to go somewhere in the uh the bangers it's cuz it, it's just it's so temporary it's so temporary it's so temporary but sometimes the, the effects of it can be really lasting you know, like maybe you'll uh, you'll go on a, a tear with it, and you'll get really, really far uh, without taking damage. Effectively netting you extra HP from it because you're killing enemies quickly. Got to deal damage to you know to avoid damage. Uh, okay, we're getting we're getting there, we're getting there. Med kit. This is a four health heal. This is what's weird. Like, as a new player, it's a banger supreme. You know, as a veteran player. I don't, I don't, I cannot remember the last time I've actually gotten value out of this item. But that doesn't mean that it's bad. You know, like, as a new player, I would say it could be, it, it, I think it's good. Like, four health heal, of, like, 
We got to compare it to, where's the ration? The ration, which does 2 HP, but you can hold on to it. And if you die, it, could, it gets used automatically. That's pretty much the difference between the two. What else we got? Uh, orange. Orange. And Hero Pig, I guess. And Gun Soul. Those are all ones I'm gonna be. Ra I'm not. I'm not placing them there. I'm just looking for where they are. Okay, hero pig, hero pig, hero pig. I don't need to. I don't need to do them in order. I just kind of like the thought of. Yeah. I really don't want to sit and just sit and look. All right. Well, there's hero pig actually. And then Gunsoul probably is just blending in because it's, yeah, it's white. All right. So let's rank these. Let's rank them among themselves. Obviously, like, these two are up top. Orange also gives you coolness. Uh, let's see. Doesn't it? Gives you how much? Is it on? Increases your coolness by two. And it gives you a heart container. But it is... The, the, the catch is that you can't... It's an active item, so you have to hold on to it. You can't have other active items. That might squeak it below the the hero pig, just because of that. The hero pig just gives you a full heal when it when you die. Uh, it's just a better version of that. I, it, 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 but the two coolness and the, the one HP heart container are very valuable. It's just the fact that this takes up an active item slot. That's pretty much it. This, you just set it and forget it. Where do they go? Uh, I mean, these are like, if we're talking reality, like how much they'll, they'll change a run. Like they might be light banger supreme. It, let's just be honest. Let, let's be honest. That's, that's probably where they belong. Then after that, this is like, cause, cause here's the thing. If you don't know, like here, let, let me talk about it. You know, it's just, it's double, it's double the life pool. If for a new player, this is good. For a veteran player, this guarantees on your worst days, you won't lose. But like, they're, they're boring. So I skip them a lot of the times. Or I just don't care about them very much. But like, truthfully, you hold on to it. The orange, you hold on to it until you're at 1 HP. You heal up. You get a full extra heart container. You get two coolness. Truthfully, they're banger supremes. They're, like... I Honestly, they probably should go above that. But I just... I don't feel like rating them any higher. Just because, like... Oh, man. They're, they're very good, though. They're very good. And of the same mind, like... The thing is, as I have to rate these kind of in the same sort of a way. I'm going to put them, like... I'm going to put them really, really high. Uh, this is obviously not as good. And then Gun Soul. Gun Soul is an HP upgrade. I don't know why I was rating it in the same time. Uh, but Gun Soul is an HP upgrade. It gives you the chance to come back to get your body afterwards. I have never had to actually use this the way it's intended. So I have an impossible time rating this. I know that it gives you an HP upgrade. So it has to be here. Uh, the added effect of it. It's probably somewhere like right here. It's just prob probably. I I've never had to actually use the effect of it, so I can't tell you. I don't know. I know it makes you start at the beginning of the floor with one heart container. You have to get back to your body. I it could be busted. It could be busted. I don't know. I just never. I've never had to actually use it in my entire Gungeon career, uh, if, if, to its normal effect. So I just don't. I just don't know. I wish I. I wish I knew. Uh, baby, good Shelaton. Um, if we're talking memes, he's S tier. He can cause some problems, though. He, he can, like, he can break chests. He can push enemies around in a bad way. He's good to get, though. Like, he's good. He's good. Maybe not as good as, like, consistency. He's, like, about right there. He's about right there. All right. You know it's sad when the like it, the, the thing is these are active items and this is a passive so you will get effects out of it at the very least uh so you know let's see training manual 
What all does it do? What, what, what percentages? 20% reload time down. Uh, rep weapon spread by 17% down. Charge time down by 17% as well. I actually think this is really good. Um, it's got some serious lichy trigger finger vibes. It's kind of... It's, it's, it's more akin to something like this, but it's not quite as strong. It's, it's worse accuracy, but it gives you other things. I'd say I'd move it down. Like It's actually really good. It's actually really good. Yeah. Considering that the Marine starts with it, that's pretty crazy. Uh, um, metronome. Uh, well, first of all, with this, I guess I need to talk about like the exploit of it, where if you are, if you drop metronome, switch your gun, and then pick metronome back up, you get to save your charges. So with that in mind, and you, if you're willing to do that, it's really, really good. Um, I'm willing to do it most of the time. It's it's a very good item. As a result, if you are willing to cheese it like that, obviously you need to not get hit. So it's kind of got that meat bun vibes. But it increases your ammo economy just by increasing your damage in a way. You know, it's kind of like... It's a good item. It's a good item if you use the exploit. It's amazing. If Otherwise, it's actually just like... It's pretty good. Um, it's about right. About right there. About right there. Mimic Tooth Necklace. It's God tier. Um... It's, it's absolutely god tier. It gives it so uh, you don't have to ever worry about keys for the rest of the run. On top of that, you also get mimic pedestals, which give you two items. So it effectively generates new items on top of making it so you never have to open up a chest ever again. The only downside is that you have to fight mimics, which, you know, like, isn't that big of a deal. Uh, this has got some serious... Hmm... Uh, it's got some serious B energy right there. It's okay. All right, Monster Blood. We start. We start right here. Does it gives you? It doesn't give you anything other than the. It gives you poison immunity. Poison immunity, and it makes it so you spawn poison creep when you get hit. Honestly, I think it's. It's in this territory. Uh. Poison immunity. It, it's about right there. Just because the coolness. Just because the coolness. Uh, what is this? What is this even called? It's called muscle relaxant, right? Muscle relaxant? God dang, I don't even know. Uh, ammo spread down by 66%. Is 16% worth moving it over that? No, but I'd say that I think that that there it's about right about like that <laughs> yeah yeah this i mean it's obviously better than this because it just is like statistically mustache 50 percent chance to heal upon using an item this might surprise people that it's so high uh you can utilize it you can you can goof with it you can do some funny stuff with it but it's not very good. It's not very good. This is Molotov plus. It's Molotov plus. You can utilize it well. But it's... I don't really like it very much. I just don't like it very much. Backpack. It's just an extra active item. That's it. I mean... Like... There's nothing wrong with that. It might be irrelevant. It's kind of in this territory as a result. Like, it could be god tier. It depends. It could be god tier. The backpack and the ice cube on the same run, you could have one of the strongest runs you, you've ever had in Gungeon. Um, yeah. Yeah. Number two, I really do need to look up the stats on this because I actually haven't had it unlocked very long. We're, we're rating this as far as its value in single player. All right, uh, movement speed up by two, damage up by 41%. That's dumb. There. 
maybe even there. I mean, maybe even there. 41% damage up and a movement speed up by two. That's dumb as hell. That's so good. Uh, that's so good. Oiled cylinder. Let's see. Halves reload time. It's very, very good. Uh, I say that having your reload time, it defaults it like at least right here. And then I think it brings it up to more like, uh, more like this territory. Situational. It's situational. Whether or not, you know, what, what, which is better here. Uh, Old Knight's Flask. I haven't used it a lot, but I think that in theory, it's got to be in the same area as these. The factor that makes me wonder if it... I just... You heal two hearts per floor that you have, but it does take up your active slot. This is a one-shot where it does four, and then you never have to worry about it again. But this... You know what? I think this is better. It's better. I... Just looking at it on paper. Have I had a run with it where I've really utilized utilize it? No, not really. But like I, like I said, I haven't really utilized this or Ration in a long time either. So I'm trying to look at it objectively as somebody who's... As a new player, this could be a Banger Supreme item. It, it totally could be. Uh, let's see. Where's... Where's... Where's your brother? There. Alpha and Omega. Let's see. Alpha Bullets makes it so they do an extra 80%, is it? Alpha Bullets. Uh, the first shot does extra 80%. Omega, the last shot, does double. Uh, obviously, with one-shot Bob Guns, Omega Bullets is better. Just strictly. I think that they're both, like... They're both really good, but situational. I'll put them, like... I'll put them, like, right here. Which one's better? Alpha works on every single gun, so you'll get effects with it no matter what. Omega, I mean, does too, but, like... You'll, you'll get the value of Alpha every clip. Omega does more damage. I think Alpha's probably marginally more useful. Most gun, most runs you'll get a one shot bop with this though. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't actually know. Between those two, it's it's a case by case basis. It's a case by case basis, but they're situational. Super like what I'm finding is the guns were not nearly as run dependent. The passives and items, it so depends. It really just depends. Oh my god, Guan stones. All right, where are they at? Where the gang at? Where the gang at? Let's get everybody up here. Where the gang? Where the gang? Where the gang at? Okay, where's? Let's see. We're missing blue, blue guanstone. All right, we got. We're missing clear guanstone. I think that's all of them. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. Okay. I mean, they give you an orbital that is moderately useful. I, they, it's not like the amulet where they're all the same, though. So this we have to be like, okay, this is an HP upgrade. This is an HP upgrade, but it's a bit better because uh, it does actually give you the orbital as well. I would say. The fact that it has an orbital doesn't it doesn't quite beat out uh poison immunity and the poison blast like it's just it might yeah well yeah and not to mention the fact that it is you know you get a synergy with this pretty often uh this is effectively a familiar It's like pretty darn good. Uh, okay, Red Guan Stone improves your dodging. It actually can be quite good. 
it can be quite good. I think it's I think it's in this territory. Faster dodging. I think it's actually really substantially good. Yeah, yeah. This okay. This I have to rate as a uh, effectively like an amulet gives you an extra blank per floor. Uh, an orbital, but it doesn't make your blanks do anything unique. I'd say it's probably the worst ammo lit. <laughs> Effectively. Uh, okay, green guanstone. I think is busted, but secretly kind of, sort of. 20% uh, chance to heal when you take damage, and a 50% chance to uh, negate the final blow on an enemy, or on an ally. On you. <laughs> Keep you from dying. 50% chance. Um... I think it's I think it's like low key kind of good, then, you know. I think it is low key kind of good. I think I sleep on it. I think it probably belongs there. Twenty percent chance to heal. So, one fifth of all of your attacks that you take are uh, are negated. Yeah, yeah. So like, that's kind of nice. But you do have to have red health. There. I think it might be the last good thing. Um, slowing down time when you take damage. It's not very good. This might be the worst Guanstone. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Uh, oh, well... Negates poison damage. I'd say I like that like a little bit better. I don't know. This does orbit faster than other ones, which actually does make it block more bullets. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh well. Oh well. Orbital bullets. For memes, I like them a lot. For reality, they're kind of like uh, they're kind of like an accuracy up, bouncy shot sort of thing. I think that they are a light banger. They're like about right there, about right there. If you miss your shots, you, they they orbit you. You know what? No, it's it's no no no. No, they're better than this. They're not better than those. There. They're really fun, though. I, I, They're very, very fun. Owl is very good. Um. I don't know if I like it. I mean, okay. It, it does fire bullets, too. It does the blank effects. I think it's like... You know, it's probably it. I think it's I think it's actually the, a light banger supreme now that I'm thinking about it. This item's stupid busted. Uh, if you want to use utilize it, you can. It's just like so crazy good. I don't I don't like to utilize it because it's so overpowered, but like it's one of the best items in the game. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. That's and that's the reason why I don't pick it up every run because like I don't want every run to be that easy. Uh, speaking of, you know, Banger Supremes, this is up there too, though. Uh, extra damage and attack speed on killing enemies. It's just, it's just very, 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 very good. And it has the, uh, the, it credits you retro, uh, retroactively for the floors you've cleared. So it's, it's just quite good. This is very hip holster in its vibes. Um, I would say... There's less runs where it's useful than Hip Holster. No, 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 no. Not true. Not true. I think it's pretty good. Backup shots, I mean, they're good. They're good. Uh, there's some situations, you know, any anything that has permanently homing shots, if you have bouncy shots, if you have a bajillion things, it's. I think it's a lot easier for this to pop off, actually. Uh, table, portal table. It's weird. It's like, it's weird. I, 
if you have table tech items, which is going to be a whole spiel, uh, if you have table tech items, it's it can be really good. But, yeah. Uh, portable turret. It's a familiar that takes up an active slot, is really what it is. It's pretty good, though. Uh, it loses points for having to take up an active slot. I'm getting increasingly less happy with like the placement of some of this stuff, but I, I have to keep I have to keep in mind like if the goal is winning the run, this is how I have it laid out. It's not like what makes you be the strongest because obviously then you want to have you know like just enough HP to survive and the rest of it goes into damage. Um, it's worse than bees, but it's not terrible. All right, uh, Potion Gun Friendship, it's really good. It does slap your uh, ammo economy, but they actually did patch it. Let me, uh, Gun Friendship, let's see. They, they changed it, didn't they? Increases your damage by 30%, doubles your fire rate, decre decrease reload times by 70%, multiplies knockback by 10. That's the problem. Like, it's a guaranteed boss damage cap reacher. Uh, it's just a very, very good item. It destroys your ammo economy, but that doesn't matter as much. It's actually, it's really good. It's really good. I would actually go as far as to say that this is really good, too. I might rate them in the same zone. This being actually maybe more useful. Just slightly more useful. Invincibility. It's it's hard to beat that sometimes, you know? Uh, not good. I don't like Proximity Mine very much. Uh, this is just a better familiar than this. So we have to start there. I'd say I'd go as far as to putting it right there. It's just free damage. Free, good damage. Movement speed ups, I love. I love movement speed ups. Uh, the fact that this lets you go over pits as well is quite nice. Here, I'm, tem I'm temporary putting it there. Let's let's get the, uh, let's see, what is it called? Rat boots. How much how much speed does it give you? 1.5. So it's like, it, it's not the fastest movement speed up. I'd say... About right there. About right there. Yeah. The badge, it's a, another familiar that is pretty on par with this. And then when it dies, you get the damage up. I actually like it quite a bit. Yeah. It's a familiar that turns into a damage up. Reload stone is a banger. Supreme. Uh, halves your reload time. Helps you with your ammo economy. It's the defensive item. It's truly, uh, it's truly pretty ludicrous, to be honest. All of it in one. Uh, remote bullets is accuracy supreme, and it also gives you a damage. Oh, hold on, uh, damage up, right? For some reason, yeah, it gives you ten percent damage up. Also, for some reason, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Remote bullets are great. Obviously, this is not with controllers. Controllers, it is not that high. Uh, resourceful rat sack. We start at the backpack and we move our way up to uh, probably like truthfully. Hmm. Hmm. Right around right there. Uh, well, all the active slots though. It's just it. I, it's hard to say because I, I don't use it very often. I actually think that it's. You know, it's probably uh, it's probably like right there. Very, very good. Real lead, stupid good, stupid good. Super stats up. Uh, let me put that down for a second. Real lead. Let's let's look at everything that it does. Grants a hard container. Fully heals the player. Increases damage by twenty five percent. Dodge roll speed by fifteen percent. Movement speed by ten percent. Has a chance to negate damage. Uh, fifty percent when at one hard or less. Chance fifty percent chance to negate damage. It's stupid good. It's stupid good. Um, yeah, it's stupid good. Very, very good. 
Uh, should we do some rings? Nah, no, no, let's do them all individually. I mean, well, first of all, this is not good. Not good. If you get this on the forge, it is a then it's obviously like it's like here. It's like here if you get it on the forge, but it's you almost never will. It's just not a good item. Yeah. All right. Chest vampirism. Not good. Yep. Uh, ch uh, chest friendship. This has the potential to be very, very good. You need the keys to make it work, but I feel like key economy is a lot easier to navigate. Uh, ever since Farewell to Arms, I say it's actually like really, really good. It's like uh, it, it depends. It depends. It depends. I think it's probably like right. Yeah, it, it's oh, it's totally comparable in this general area right here. I say it's a little bit better than that. Barely. Barely. Okay, the ability to steal is godlike. And it's in it's like, okay, you ha we have to start here because it's the same thing. And then you get the ability to steal. Like truthfully, it pretty dumb. It pretty dumb. It's pretty good. Uh this is just fire immunity. It's the same exact thing as uh Oh, we don't have we don't have gas mask out yet. All right, well, let's do it at the same time. Gas mask is poison immunity, so it's we start here and we move down. Um, what's more common, fire or poison? I say, oops. I say fire is more annoying to have on you, so I will say the fire immunity is slightly better. Uh, movement speed up. This is a 2x movement speed up. We start, I say we start here because the extra movement speed and extra 0.5 movement speed up does twice as much move up as uh, the rat boots. So we start here because it totally beats out the pit effect, which is really not that important. Uh, and then I'd say it moves itself up to something like... Something like here. Yeah. Uh, mimic friendship? Terrible. One of the few things in the game that I say makes your run actively worse. You should just, if you're new to the game, learn to fight mimics because it's free keys. Mimics are free keys. You want to fight mimics. This makes it so you can't get any mimics. I need to see, like, I, I don't think that there's anything else. Chests will not turn into mimics. Does not prevent Orlor from appearing. Okay. The only time prevents wall mimics, prevents mimic pedestals, and uh, the only benefit from this is if you already have mimic tooth necklace. And even in that scenario, just learn to fight the mimics. <laughs> just learn to fight the mimics. That's all there is to it. Uh, this is a very good item. Um, uh, you know, trading uh, be, because of one thing and one thing alone. This is like not one thing alone. It's a very good item because it just lets you trade your garbage for good stuff. But uh, if you don't know the trick on the forge, if you drop, if you talk to the blacksmith, let her drop the bullet to kill the pass on the floor, leave the room and come back, you get a free S tier item. And not only is it an S tier item, you get to re roll it until it's one that you uh want is you know like depending on how many floors you've got up to that point it's very good it's better than the owl Meh, probably not like truthfully it's maybe only like it's maybe only right here no i like it a lot i think it's i think this is a sleeper banger item this is this is probably one of my favorite items in the game to get it's like the it's the the d6 in isaac okay this is situational we gotta we gotta start here this is the situational weirdo zone ring of triggers I feel like it can be great, but it can be, 
you could easily like it could be down here you there's a lot of components that you need to uh need to make it work and by that i need, mean you need like a couple let's see uh bullet rocket powered bullets both speed up by 50 percent damage up by 10 percent rate of fire by 10 percent i'd say naturally it actually starts like right here uh so just a 10 percent damage up and then the fire speed is neat I would say these are in this zone. This is, this is a much higher, well, but it gets you the fire rate up too. And there's no other penalty to it. I think they might be in between there. I think they might squeak in between there. Yeah, they squeak in between there. Roll bombs, they are very much this energy, but they can at least break bullets. Rolling eye very much this energy. But there it's a little bit better, I guess. It's not good, but it's pretty high up for the not goods. Uh Ruby Bracer, I guess we have to look at it as the new one, right? Uh thrown guns explode, immunity to contact damage, and the big old special dodge. Uh contact damage, I say we start like right here. That's about where we leave it, probably. <laughs> and that's about where it stays. It doesn't even give you armor. You know what? No, it's, it's just... Yeah, it's not as good. Scattershot. It's been buffed. What are, what are the numbers on it now? Scattershot. What are, what are the new numbers on it? Uh, triple fires triple the projectiles with each projectile doing 55% of the original damage. So... I mean, like, dang, dude. That's potentially a 50... Uh, wait, no. 65%? Wow. 50%, 65%, 65% uh, damage up if you hit with all of them. It's just... This is my... Like, I, I love this item. And I think that it's become amazing. They buffed it, and it's so, so good now. It's really, really good. On top of the fact that it is truly just really, really fun. Old Scattershot was down like here they buffed it and it's up there now it's it's just really quite good uh the scope just decreases bullet spread by 60 percent it obviously goes right there like it just doesn't okay this is 25 percent damage up with no drawbacks so it starts it starts here moves to here obviously i would say it's above here no drawbacks at all about right there remote bullets is so easy to cheese it's so easy to get a, a just a god tier run with it uh scouter gives you 10 percent damage up 10 percent accuracy up uh and and you can see enemy hp bars which is like which is fine but 10 percent damage up and everything i say it starts right here and it ends right there that's about it sense of direction it's fine it's okay it's okay in bullet hell it's obviously good with ring of triggers it's obviously good uh but you know what are you gonna do let's see this is uh, okay i say this starts right here and then it moves up i mean it's it's hard to rate it because it depends you know you get this on the first floor it's probably you know it's it goes right here if you get this on the first floor it goes here if you get this late like it goes you could have it even be like literally irrelevant so i think that we have to keep all that in mind and end up putting it somewhere like there i'd say that that yeah that probably makes sense uh, shadow bullets. What's the percentage on this sucker? Shadow bullets. Firing weapon has a chance to fire an additional projectile. 50% chance to fire an additional projectile. I mean, it's very good. Like, it starts here. And I'd say it moves like here. It's very good. Alright. Shadow clone is so weirdly busted. That I need to make sure that it's a that I'm reading it right. Is it truly as busted? Aims at player aims clone body. It's just 
And it's just, why is, why does this exist in its current form? It's so broken. I love it. But, like, it's so broken. Shadow Clone. And it's a D tier active item. And it's an active item. There's not a lot of active items near the top. Well, there actually is, but still. Shh, shut up. Uh, Skeleton Key. It's just, I mean, the same as, um, you know, Mimic Tooth Necklace, but you don't have to fight the Mimics, but also you don't generate extra Mimics, which actually is kind of a good thing, and you do gain a curse. I think Mimic Tooth Necklace is better, because it, as long as you suck it up and actually fight the Mimics... You gain more value from this by generating generating more mimics, aka generating more items. Uh, oof. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Shock rounds. I just, I, I've always talked about this. I do not know how good it actually is. It was nerfed from S tier to A tier. Like, I don't know how good it actually is. I get excited to see it every time because I love bullet modifiers, but I feel like it's probably one of the one of the worst ones, truthfully. Extra, like the arcing electricity. Yes, I know what you're saying, but what if you get a million to what about with uh, Buzzkill? What about with... Shut up! It doesn't... I don't know. You might... I don't know what build you have. I gotta go based off of what you probably have, which is statistically not Buzzkill or Super Meat Gun or Brick Breaker. And even in those situations, it's... It probably would just move it up to about right here. You know? Uh, like, in those situations, remote bullets and scattershot are better... are better anyways. Uh, Shaka Cola. Shaka Cola and Shotgun Coffee. Do they just give you the same? Uh, Cola's 1.5, but it doesn't give you... I'd say it's like squeaks right under here. It doesn't give you the pit thing. So it's, you know, it's just a little bit worse. And this gives you 1.2. It's obviously at least right here. All right, battery bullets is 50, uh, let's see. Battery bullets, 50% spread reduction, and it makes it so you don't get zapped, and it electrifies water, so it's bare minimum. Bare minimum, it's right here. I'd say that that 10% loss, like, or 10, what, what is it? 15% loss, it just doesn't matter. I'd say it really, it, it scooches it up quite a bit. There. All right there. Uh, silver bullets. Silver bullets gives you a big boost to jammed enemies and a 25% uh, boost to bosses. I actually like this a lot. Probably more than I should. Just because, like, as soon as you get it, you know, jammed enemies become easier to kill than normal enemies, effectively. And bosses take a lot of extra damage. I think it's probably like right there. We're getting very close to done. Let's see if we can beat this <laughs> beat this before uh, the gun one. I don't know. It doesn't look like it at this point. Uh, singularity. It's an active item that's kind of... You can kind of look at it like this, except... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about right there. Uh, it's. I like using it more than I like using Black Hole Gun. So, I mean, like... That's something, and I raid Black Hole Gun really high. But I think, on average, items I, items are more impressive than guns. On average, I think. Uh, Sixth Chamber is our next one, isn't it? Let's see. Uh, okay. Gives you two curse uh, and two coolness for every curse, and it removes the curse penalty towards getting room events or uh, room clear rewards. It's actually, like, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. Coolness is underrated, and the fact that it, you know, you basically, you get four, four coolness just for having this, so like, all right, where, where, where's the bout? It starts here. 
just like naturally. I'd say it's kind of in the ice cube range though. And then I think it transcends it a bit. So I think it's probably more like... Here. It's, it's really, really, really good. It might be even higher. It might be even higher, to be honest. Uh, ability to steal in smoke bombs. And you can be invisible to enemies, which, you know, hooray. Uh, like, we start here and we move down because it's not as good. Uh, I would say we scooch down maybe... Maybe around... You know, this is... Uh, and I'm old, obviously I'm just rating it because of the ability to steal. Scooch it around like right there. Just because the ability to steal. The item itself, it sucks. It's like, it doesn't... It's not good. <laughs> but the ability to steal is very, very important. Um, and can change a run. It just can truly, truly, truly change a run. Snowball it increases size in size as they travel. Uh, can do quite a bit. Uh, no, I mean... Where's Stout? Like, you can do quite a bit of damage up. They're, they're really nice. I love to get them. They're kind of like in this zone. Don't like them as much as I like those, but I like them a lot. And Stout is the same, but I think the worst version. Okay. All right. Space Friend It is just another familiar... It's a slightly worse familiar than R2G2. It's basically the same though. Uh, Wingman is. I like it better than R2G2. I think it does less damage. There we go. I think it does less damage. You know what? Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Does less damage, I think, but it also does do the uh, rocket effect. It can blow up shots and it can block body block, which is quite nice. Uh, Sponge is effectively hazmat suit plus. Spice is a weird one. Uh, Spring heel boots is very much in this zone. You can utilize it well, but it's just like it's so situational. Speaking of situational, where the hell do we put Sprun? On um, on most runs, on most runs, it is Duke. But on some runs, it is right, like, right here. It depends on what trigger mechanic you have. I'm going to put it like... Oh, God. Yeah, it's... This, like, directly in the center. It's like, that's where I'm putting the RNG stuff. It's where I'm putting the RNG stuff. Yeah. It could be, like, God tier, but who knows. All right. Let's, uh, let's just move ourselves right back to the beginning here of the this, of this little soundtrack. All right. We got a ways to go yet. Spice. It's super good. Can cause problems, though. Light Banger Supreme. It can over... Like, it can take over your run, though. It's like... It's a Light Banger Supreme. Depends on the run. Can be God tier. There. Top Banger. Top Banger. This, we obviously start... Here, and then we actually move down a squeak, because this reflects bullets, and this does not. Uh, this is Coolness, and... Okay, this is Coolness. A little bit less than this. Uh, and it also slows down bullets, which I consider to be a problem. So I'd say it goes to right here. And the only reason it's that high is because of the coolness that it provides, which is not even a very much. This is literally an, a an ammo drop. I, like, is literally just an ammo drop. And everything underneath this point should feel very insulted. Everything underneath there should feel very insulted. Super Space Turtle.
Rapid fire. Does he get a jetpack? No, he can't cross pits. He can't cross pits, and I feel like that brings him down to squeak. Uh, ah, battle standard. It's it's gimmicky. It's gimmicky. It's in this realm. It can be good, but it cannot be good. It's like uh, it's it's RNG dependent. RNG dependent. I I hate this item. Like. If you're willing to play the most boring game of Enter the Gungeon in history, this can be the best item in the game. If you're willing to have no fun and literally just play like a task bot and just stand still and move an inch every hour, you can do that. I am going to put it in the, uh, like, I I'm going to move it down though. I'm going to say it's like a, there. I hate it though. I hate, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Oh, I just I just see this, and this is obviously like going up here. This is this is in this realm. It's like uh, it's like I'm you, but I don't really have any downside. I you know I don't have to be hit to generate the uh, the HP or to generate the ammo. So it's just kind of nice. Uh, this is RNG. Can be good, can be bad. I've had some runs with it recently that have sort of changed my mind and make me made me appreciate it a little bit more. But it's still RNG dependent. I'm gonna so it's gonna be in this range and. Then I'm going to move it down a little bit. Yeah. You know what? Heavy bullet. It's very much heavy bullets energy. Very much. Uh, the ticket's like thumb good. It's a freebie. It's a free win a lot of time. Uh, charm rounds are kind of like magic bullets. But a little bit better. Actually, enough better to be, like, here. Yeah. Vorpal. RNG dependent. Kind of in here. But they don't proc... They, they don't proc very often at all. Yeah. I don't love them. This is... Why, like, why is this a controversial item? Like, item. Everyone that I talk to that has over over a thousand hours in Gungeon, or over or over five hundred hours in Gungeon, hates this item, and everyone under that tries to defend it with their life. It can be good. Here's the problem: you can't dodge. Like, you can't dodge into walls. If you if they just change that, if they made it so you could still like dodge into a wall without um, without bonking, it would be a way better item. But it's just like. It's 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 okay. Like it can cause problems. I would rather have an HP up. I wouldn't call it. I would not call it good. Uh, wax wings is this, but like also flying over pits. Uh, I I actually like. I, it's amazing how much more I like this than that. Which makes me think I'm wrong. I love curse bullets and I cannot lie. I think that they should go here. Curse bullets. I mean, cursed bullets. Let's see. How much damage up does it do per curse? 10% per point of curse. Dear God. Like, what am I doing? It's a, that's a 10% damage up just by picking it up. And it's super easy to get curse. Uh, obviously, you have a chance to increase the jamitude of enemies. Honestly, I think it's better than... You know what? Controversial, maybe. I, Banger Supreme. Light Banger Supreme. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Did I grab this? Okay. 2 HP up. Uh, what, what does it do to your attack speed? It does how much? 15% uh, fire rate up. And the, it, it's just, yeah, two, two HP up, 50%, 15% fire up, two curse, and you get to charm an enemy whenever you enter the room. It's actually like, it's really good. It's 
really good. Mm. <laughs> this is just the orange, but a little bit worse. But also not at the same time, because you can drop it on the ground. You can drop it on the ground and shoot it after you carry it for a few floors. Get an extra item out of it if you just like don't need it, if you want to style on the run a bit. Uh, let's see, this is very much super space turtle energy, but a little bit worse because it is a melee version. Uh, this is... It's At the very least, it's one pet, and then you're probably going to get more than one. I think that it's... I think it's really good. I think it's really good. You're probably, you'll probably get more than one, but rating it on itself... It's... it's No, yeah, I don't know. Oops. It's, it's probably right in there. Something, something like that. Something like that. Blank bullets. S tier. Um... Charm Horn. It's the ability to steal, and it's actually a good active item, too. Um, but it's not in its ability. I think it's a banger. Where does it go? Among the bangers? It's like, yeah, it's this. It, oops. Oh, shoot. Where did I grab this from? Was it, where did I say this was? was did I say this was a, a... I mean, it's very, very good. I think I might have grabbed it from there. Uh, I, I believe it. I mean, that's where I would put it right now, so I hope that's where I put it. Um, it starts here. Moves up. Because you can use it well. All right. Yeah. You can use it well as an actual active item, too, which is nice. Um, it's okay. This is an okay item. It's okay. I mean, okay. First of all, <sighs> duh. It's obviously like if we're the if what we're talking is this makes it so we win the run. Clone is the answer to the question. It makes it so you get to have two runs at the same time. It's stomp. It's so good, so good. All right, this is another ability to steal. So we take this, and then we rate it among against the charm horn it's actually you can cheese with this pretty darn well decoy is weirdly good and then where is explosive decoy like i guess it's like a little bit stronger not much though flak is very very good but not like so much better than it I, th I feel like it's right in there right there it's very very good though bouncy bullets i like a lot it's kind of a it's kind of in the accuracy territory it's like orbital bullets but more reliable it's kind of in here money devolver rounds are hey i'm let's see hey i'm magic bullets but a little bit worse and then a little bit worse than that and a little bit worse than that Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they fallen. Oh, they fallen. There. Oh no. Oh no. Would I prefer them to an HP up? Yes. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, Devolver Rounds. I just like slowly started to hate hate it more and more as I held it. Uh, Gilded Bullets are super good. You can get up to, um, let's see. Gilded Bullets, you can get up to what? 200%? 100%? Well, 200%, well, two te two X. Yeah, maximum of two X damage, 100% extra damage. It's, it's so good. 
So good, so good, so good. The thing is, I can't rate spice high because it's like, it's, when you think of spice, you think of 10 spice. You don't think of one spice. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I, you know what? I got to drop it. I got to drop it because I'm rate. It's unfair. I'm rating it as multiple drops. That's really unfair. That's really unfair because I can't rate it as multiple drops. Because then I could be like, oh yeah, well, then I'm rating silver bullets mixed with curse bullets at the same time. Ever since they added the guaranteed cell creep. Ever since they added the guaranteed cell creep, that became god tier to me. Ghost bullets. Uh, I, I like it a lot. It's probably my favorite gimmick modifier. So I'd say it's probably better than bouncy bullets. Let's see. Angry bullets. It's my least favorite gimmick modifier. Probably takes it down quite a few pegs. Truly, it might be upper. Uh, yeah, it's probably right there. It's abo above heavy bullets, <laughs> which is to not, not really say it's very great. So this is kind of magic bullets territory. Uh, charm rounds, a little bit more reliable. I'd say... God. I like him. I like him a lot. Oh, but oh, maybe I do like him more than No, I like Ghost Bullets more. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Heck. Let's see. Maybe it's a time. Maybe it's a time to put this in a different spot anyways. No. Yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 ability to steal. Okay, this is probably it's it's a worse ability to steal because you can't get stuff in glass cases and you can't do it without getting caught unless you're outside of the room so it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of down a bit it's a it's a wor much worse stealing effect but the actual active effect of it is better i feel like that probably brings it kind of to uh, around right there yeah yep the box ability to steal with an okay effect it's a slightly better effect than this but not much C4, it's a better version of this. All right, we're getting we're getting to that point. Yeah, an hour and 40 minutes in, this is when I start to get uh, a little bit uh, haphazard here. C4 is like, it's not that bad. Is it? Maybe it is. I think it's actually okay. It's actually okay. Blank Companion Ring is very much uh, Ring of Trigger vibes, but like a little bit less exciting. It's R yeah, RNG situation. It can be God tier. It just depends. It just depends. Bracket key. Real good. Does cause you to lose some money. It's a banger, though. Okay, I haven't rated anything quite like this yet, have I? I mean, I guess it would be kind of comparable to this, if anything. I think that's probably about right. And then, therefore, I gotta rate Big Boy. I actually low-key like Big Boy better.
because it can uh, it can transform enemies that are immune into enemies that can be killed easier. So and it doesn't uh, it doesn't make it so you lose money. So it's just better than bracket key, even though they're a similar kind of thing here. Uh, let's see, explosive rounds. It's very very good. It's like this but better. Rockets. Yeah, it's about there. All right. What else we got? Chaos bullets. It is definitely better than these. I'd go as far as to say it is up there. No, it can be. It can be really. It can be really good. It's maybe a little bit better than flak. A little bit better than shadow. But I don't like. I don't think it's better than helix. All right. Yeah, bloody nine millimeter. I'm just grabbing all the bullet modifiers, getting them out of the way at this point. Uh, there's some situations where it really sucks, to be honest. There's some situations where it can be really, really helpful. Uh, it's one of my less, less favorite. It's very katana bullets energy. Very katana bullets energy. I think it can be better though. It's easier to contain it. This is. This, but a little bit, a little bit better, a little bit better. No, it's quite a bit better, because you don't have to use twice as much ammo to get the big boost in the effect. I like it. I actually like it a lot. Another D tier item that's so so good. Uh, chest teleporter. There's like not a lot of situations to use it, but there are some situations to use it. But I really don't like it. This. I mean, hooray, I guess. Uh, you know, not fall not taking damage, falling into pits, I suppose. Uh, this is like, hey, what if we took this, but then we made it really unreliable? So, cartographer's ring, you're not good. Just because it, 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 it can be good, it's just not good. On most times. Like, most times I get it, it doesn't even help me. But it's better than some of this stuff. I'd take it right there. Alright. God, I hate Fortune's Favor. It's like, what if we took uh, this item and then totally made it unreliable? So, it is... The top of the okay. Because you can use it. You can use it well. It's possible, but I just, I hate it. This, at the very least, it starts right here. Uh, it starts right here, and then I think it's a little bit more reliable. I'd bump it up, maybe... There. Turkey. Three shots back. Uh, three shots give you a... Uh, yeah. Three shots give you an ammo back. Pretty good situation. Okay, so this is the ability to steal, but it goes away in three attempts. So it's like we start here and we work our way down to like here. It's still three steals, which is a lot of times all you can really get done in a run anyway. But Yeah, yeah, I'd say I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. I hate these. Uh, worst thing, proximity mine, I guess. I mean, eh. Can they still do contact damage to? You? Can they still deal damage to you? I don't remember. If they can, they suck, obviously. All right, well, this is very much um, turkey energy, except it doesn't require you to be accurate. Ah, bop, 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 bop. All right, what's the damage on this sucker? Look, so like we'll start right here. Let me just get the uh, the, the percentages. Eye patch, damage up by twenty percent and lowers your accuracy. So it's like here, but then it already gets worse. It's like here. It's good, but like, dang, that's a it's a pretty big penalty, like a weirdly big penalty. Okay, so this is, you know, it's it's 
pretty dang good. It's it's effectively Mimic Tooth Necklace. It's an active item though, so it takes that slot. So I'm gonna put it down a little bit. It's Mimic Tooth Necklace, but it does increase your Mimic chance. Uh, you do have to fight stuff. It is part of the uh, the transformation, which you know I guess you could consider that potentially a factor. Getting near the end here. Easy reload bullets. They're like hip holster memes, but worse though. They're not as reliable in any way. Easy reload. Like, there's some situations where you could get some good value out of it. There's some situations. They're few and far between. It's more likely that you get this to pop off. This is probably better. Like, I get it. Uh, <sighs> well, what about just, like, lots of money? What about just lots of money? Uh, briefcase gives you... How much? 250. Golden junk... Gold junk gives you 500. I mean, like, okay. So it's kind of like the be it's better than the ability to steal because you can just get away with it. Just, but that's all it is. So I'd say it's it's good. It's good though. Boy. Boy, it's hard to say. And then I'd say since this is half as much, it's got to be like... It's got to be down quite a bit. Quite a bit. I, I'd say it's maybe better than the average ability to steal. Because, you know, you get to do it without, without getting the curse. Hooray. Hooray. Big deal. It's like it kind of helps. Uh, escape rope. You can you can use it. You can use it to teleport to the shop at the beginning of the floor. So that like immediately brings it up to maybe like there. And that's probably where it stays. It's not very good. It's not very good. All right. So this is flying at the very least. This starts here. And then it also makes it so every time you roll, you also do. If, let's we'll basically say what if wax wings, but you also gave it the score of uh, gun boots. And to that, I'd say it actually brings it up a bit. I actually really like to get it. Nah, about right there. About right there. I'm just looking at what I have opinions on. Uh, blast helmet, or is it crash helmet? Blast helmet. Blast helmet. Uh, immunity to contact damage and decreases the explosion radius you can get hit in. Um. It's kind of the worst, worst version of those, but I prefer it to HP ups personally. Man, okay, so we can, we got a couple like little, uh, little goobers there. We got uh, utility belt. It gives you an ax extra active item slot and max ammo up by twenty percent. So it obviously starts here, and then an extra twenty percent ammo up. It means quite a bit, to be honest. Like, I'd say it starts at least here. And, and an extra active slot. It's pretty good. Like, I, reading that is making me un, uh, wish I valued it more. Yeah. All right. And then, let's see. Ammo belt is... Max ammo up by 20% with no, with no, um, whatever, extra slot. So I'd say that, that chunks it down. Honestly, it probably chunks it down sort of near backpack. 20% though. 20%, I actually, I think it's like right above there. Uh, drum, drum clip, magazine size of all weapons by 50%. Um, it can be helpful, but it can be hurtful. It's very much, it's like actually super in this realm in the sense of 
I, th I think it's more likely to help than this. I think I... I think I've done heavy bullets dirty, guys. I think I've done heavy bullets dirty. It's it's it, it totally should be existing in this club. Totally. All right. Uh what about Galactic Metal of Valor? Does how much? It's 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 a really good item. 3% more damage to bosses, halves your reload time, halves your shot spread. Uh, it's just like it's always been a god tier item in my mind. So it's like it starts It starts here because of the accuracy and then it goes up to like here because of the halves the reload time and then it's 30% more damage to bosses It's a banger supreme I've always considered it to be, to, to be like so so good the bottle. It's not good, but it like it has some uses It's very much like escape rope zone uh, bip, 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 bip. Book of Chest Anatomy is kind of like chest vampirism vibes, but like a little bit better. It's like the last item that I'm okay with getting. But, 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 but this is very much in here, but like I think a little bit better. No, no, <laughs> it's not. I just don't like items that require you to get hit to uh, to provide value. This, I feel like I should rate it higher than I will because it seems like it never works on my game. I don't know why, I've, but I think it's um, I think it is good. I think it is good. I think it's like, I think it's right here. Oop, right there. It's good. It's good. It ain't too shabby. Uh, teleporter prototype. It's effectively just, hey, let's use this on, unless you're speed running, then it's a completely different story. Um, it's just like, let's use this on bullet hell. It's like a little bit better than this. In fact, this should be lower. Oh, yeah, it should, it should really be lower. What was I thinking here? Yeah. All right. Well, that's that. <laughs> Teleporter prototype. Well, you know, it can be used to... It can, you know what? Bad rep. It can be used to um, to teleport around and kill enemies. Get, you get one free enemy kill in every room. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's at the, uh, the, top of the top of the okay for you. All right. Let's get these stinking, uh, these stinking things uh, done. Table tech blanks. Every time you flip a table, you do a blank effect. It's actually, like, it's probably the best... One of the best ones here. Yeah, it's, I think that's my order. Um, table like blanks. I think it's probably one of the best ones. Let's go with maybe... I would go as far as to say they're a banger. In this zone. Dang, there's some, there's some slappers up here, though. It's... There. So then that's table deck stun. It's going to be under that. It's, is it still, is table deck stun still a banger? I think so. I think so. And table deck sight is, actually table deck sight might be a little bit better. Followed by table deck money. It's super situational. It depends when you get it in the run. It can be really good though. I'll actually, you know what? I think these actually exist pretty close together. And then table tech shotgun, I would say, is when it starts to move back down into the good territory instead. Um, yeah, right under there. Table tech rage, same zone, same vibes. Table tech heat starts to become eh, a little bit less exciting probably still better than some of this stuff and then table tech rocket i think is just like it's just bad it's not good it's not it's not good all right 
I honestly, I think I'm, I think I'm being too kind to it. If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be real, I think I'm being too nice to it. We're really in the home stretch here. Uh, this is, like, I'm you but stronger. Where'd I put the bomb? It's honestly like, if it wasn't for the fact that this opened up secret rooms, I would say this is obviously better. But like, that's a, it's very much a factor. Robo toes. Let's see, bionic leg, aka Robo toes. I always love it because it's just, hey, I know you like movement speed a lot. So like, what if we gave you? 1.5 movement speed but then we also gave you a piece of armor a piece of armor versus the ability to fly over no uh, walk over pits i'd say it's yeah it's not quite as good as the ability to walk over pits in fact no it's four it's four hp that's it's a lot uh, turtle problem it's not very good but it's so funny i love it it's probably like um it's probably like right there it's not gonna help you as much as the armor will it's not gonna save you from as many hits but it is a very funny item i like it a lot uh dog it's kind of like it's kind of like getting money it's kind of like table tech money's yeah yeah over the course of the run it adds up yeah because you get you know you get consumables it adds up over time uh unity it is actually i think pretty good like compared to what everyone else would think Let's see. What, wait, wait. Where, where is Unity on this? Uh, you know, I'm gonna blow your mind. I have uh, the freaking wiki open. The wiki. Two percent of the total damage of the non-equipped guns is added, is added as flat damage to the currently equipped gun. Yeah. There's some situations where this is wild. This is kind of like a hip holster kind of a gimmick, but way easier to pull off i think that it's actually i think it's actually right there kind of i look at it like a bullet modifier full metal jacket this is a controversial one like if you're a new player this is a very good item if you're not a new player this is it's like it can be it can be good i'm just trying to look for anything that's even remotely comparable I think it's in the upper good. I, you know what? Like, I just, uh, God, I just don't even want this on my list. Cause it's, it just, it, it's, I just don't want it there. Cause it's like, it's good. I know it's good. It actually is very good if you are willing to play the most boring game on earth by like just only playing inches. If you use it kind of tactfully, like you, you do it some, somewhat, like you inch every, only every uh, like few rooms it's a different story all right this is poison immunity but better because it applies it around it's kind of like it's better than that um yeah it's bug boots it's kind of like it's okay they're, they're, i think they're underrated blood brooch uh every what 1200 i don't oh god I shouldn't say numbers. Yeah, every 12... Wow, I'm a genius. Every 1,200 damage, you uh, you gain health. Also increases curse. It's weird. I think it's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like in there. Sort of antibody vibes. Boomerang is actually really good. Actually really good. It's like... It takes what Bomb does and kind of elevates it a bit. I'd say it's sort of in the table tech stun zone, actually. Ancient Bell is a banger supreme. It's the ability to steal. It's the, it's the best item that has the ability to steal. I love it. I love it. I think it's very, very good. I love it. I think the Ancient Bell is so good. 
Broccoli. What kind of stats do you do? I think it might... It got changed at some point. Damage by 10%. 10% chance to negate damage. And... Increases movement speed. It th doesn't... Say... How much, though. <laughs> so, it's... It's a... You know... Listening to that, it's kind of like a... It's in this zone, really. I always look at it like it's better, but I think it's probably more like that zone. I always look at it like it is an S tier, but it is only an A tier. Uh, bullet time is like... Whoa. Bullet time is like if uh, this th couldn't steal. So it's kind of more like... Um, kind of like a defensive tool. It's sort of in here. But it's not quite as good as invincibility. I think that's a, that's a pretty apt spot for it. Bumble, it's it's just free real estate. It's free damage. Um, I'm not. That's not where I'm putting it. Uh, bop, 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 bop. it's kind of like shadow bullets, but not as exciting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, chicken, it's a familiar. So like, let's scroll up to familiars here. Uh, block shots can do a lot of stuff. It can be a little bit more defensive, but it's also... I think it's... Maybe there. Block shots does really, really good damage against some bosses. It's situational, though. It's it's sometimes... Like, it depends on what, what you're fighting. Sigaroons! Coolness per damage. On some runs, this is god tier. If you're a new player, this is probably one of the worst items in the game if you're a veteran player it can be like it could be like a upper banger to banger supreme uh i'll kind of cut the losses and i'll put it in the same sort of vicinity as this but i'd say that the uh the catch with it is a little bit less frequent i'm actually gonna sneak it right in there Sneak it right there. Yeah. Uh, dodge power up. Obviously, we will take this to here. And then I will probably squeak it down. Because of... Let's see. I mean... Chlorinthia ring. Let's, is, there a, is there a freaking stat on it? Dodge speed is improved by 20%. And the roll is faster. Red Guan... Uh, speed and distance of dodge rolls doesn't really say. Speed and distance. You know what? You know what I actually remembered. I actually think Chlorinthe is is noticeably better. Now that I think about that, because this this uh, I think it shortens. Let's see, Chlorinthe shortens the time at the end of the dodge roll the play, where the player is vulnerable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Improves dodging, making the roll fast, shortening it, shortening its recovery time. It is a lot better if I remember correctly. Now that I'm thinking about it. In fact, like, I'll put it right there. Cog of Battle. Oh my god. Cog of Battle. How much damage does it increase by if you get the active right? 75%. And it effectively decreases reload time. Yeah. Uh, it's like, it's so good. It's so good. It's a banger supreme, and that should be impressive because it's a C tier item. Uh, it's really, really good. Coin Crown is very much a play well, get blunt. So it's like, I don't really know. I feel like I'd, I just have to look at numbers on this, you know? It's pretty much just that. Oh no. Did we crash? Oh my god, I was gonna say. I've got one, two, I've got six items left. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Crisis Stone, situational, very much that hip holster vibes that we've been talking about. Uh, which I don't even know where the hell it's gone at this point. Hip holster vibes at this point. Obviously, you get with cigaroons, you got the run of a lifetime. It's hilarious. You just smoke them all up when you're invincible. Uh, I feel like it's less likely to make it work 
I feel like it's halfway between this and hip holster, so I'll just sneak it right in here. It can be great. It can be great. Great, great, great. Uh, shop discount is effectively just um, getting more money. But, like, not quite. <laughs> not quite. It's, it's, a, it's not a bad item. It's not a bad item. I feel like this needs to be up higher, though. There. All right. Duct tape. Situational. It's the most easy. It's like, what if hip holster vibes, but it was incredibly easy for it to pay off? It's, uh, you know, like, it, on most runs, the correct duct tape, it's, uh, it's a banger supreme. It's situational, though. There's some runs where it could be, like, probably right, right here. But there's some runs where you get it and it probably only is like, you know, you, du you duct tape the wrong thing. You need to know what things to duct tape. Uh, but I will put it up here and I think I'll put it up, up there. About there. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Daruma, Daruma, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take ya. It is. I, I I haven't seen it in forever. Uh, I like it. I think it's very very good. I think it's an upper banger. I think it's uh very. It's this, but easier to charge. Really reliable. I think it's very good. Yeah, I think it's very good. I think people who don't like it just aren't good at using it. Other than that, I think it's pretty darn solid. Elder Blank is... I mean, if if this, if the room is there, then Elder Blank needs to be up here. Like... Yeah. And then, finally, Junkin, my boy, is uh, definitely not there. I saved him for last because it's controversial. Everyone, the same reason that Spice can't be here, or Spice can't be here, Junkin takes over multiple items. Unless you have a situational run where you don't have a lot of keys and you just happen to get them or you get them from a chest, you happen to have a lot of junk anyways. He takes up a lot of item slots. You it's you can't raid him against the other items in the same way because if you break if you break eight chests, whatever, you know, and you're just trying to get max rank junkin, uh you, you know, you don't even get junk from every chest. So you break ten chests just to try to get max rank junkin. You're killing all of those items too. You know? That being said, he's uh he's obviously on the top of the bang supreme though. He's um it, it pains me to do it, but he's like, truthfully, truthfully, he's probably about right there because he's a melee melee pet for most of his life. But, uh, yeah, there you freaking go. All right. That is it. It took basically the same amount of time, didn't it? How many, uh, how many hours? What, it was like two hours and 13 minutes for the guns. Two hours and, uh, nine minutes here for the, uh, for the items. But holy moly, we did it. Time to scroll slightly here. I mean, we'll look closely through it. There's my banger supreme. We got... I'm pretty darn satisfied with what I see up there. I mean, you know, like, I feel weird about having the HP up things there, but they're very good. I think they do belong there. I think maybe I would squeak that. Uh, maybe even squeak that. To be honest, skill the bullets are very, very good. Um, yeah. All right. 
got there. This is probably better. I don't know why I put that there. I think it actually could be higher. I think it could I think it could totally be higher. I don't know why I have it so low. There. Alright. Uh then we got some moving into bullet modifier territory. And then there's quite a few pets. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a doozy a doozy amount of items. Like if I wanted to, I could take all day and get this like meticulously, beautifully placed, intricately down to the uh, you know down to the placement but like i'm pretty satisfied mostly look at where the things are in the tier or uh not where they are in the tiers but what tiers they're in that's generally what i think there there's not a lot of duke though so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i am going to consolidate duke down i think that these are also oops are also duke honestly Yep, I'd say that's about it. All right, I'll, st I'll start from the top and I'll scroll down slowly for you guys as I do my little outro here. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Do stay tuned to my channel. For we're going to probably do, I don't know what we'll do with the next tier list on. Probably bosses or something. It'd be a much shorter, uh, much shorter tier list if we do that. But uh, you know what? My voice needs a freaking break. But if you could uh, check out my channel, I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day, especially Enter the Gungeon, Exit the Gungeon. We're going to be moving to do a series on mod of the gungeon featuring tons of mods with custom guns custom items custom characters custom maps custom modes everything starting very soon so do subscribe to be a part of that when it does indeed begin and if you want to check out my series on enter the gungeon beat the gungeon we did a zero to 100 percent completion it was a hell of a lot of fun you can click my channel it is on the recommended playlist section right near the top of it there but Yep, I put on videos on Roguelikes and more every single day. And then thank you everybody for watching. And an extra special thank you to Dhex, Throbo, Nidelric, Justice Tom, the Shogun Gun, More Than Awesome, and Semicolon P for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. Getting their names shouted out at the end of every single Gungeon related video here on the channel. You can support with the link at the top of the description there. And uh, help me uh, do this as a full time job during times that it's all hook. <laughs> but no pressure. Thank you to them, and thank you to you for watching. Like if you like. If you want to make your own tier list, there is a link in the description. Instead of complaining, please just make your own list. Uh, it's all, like I said, it's all subjective, and it was done, like, you know, in a stream of conscious over the course of two hours here. I could, like I said, I could easily make it take all day if I wanted to mat meticulously place this. And this is just my opinions based off of a guy with 1,200 hours, you know. I... I'm not saying I'm the best at the game. I'm just saying I have put a lot of time into it. So these are not just thoughts of some guy who randomly just started playing the game. Uh, I've, I've, I've gone through ups and downs. There's definitely situations where I've had some of these things way lower. Some things were way higher. And maybe you're just at a different point in the life cycle of the game as well. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time though. Bye.